Values starts and finishes with culture. Our culture is what we're focused on here, and our values and our behaviors are what drive that. It's a business necessity to have one company, one set of values, one set of expectations when we work employee to employee across the organization. Everything starts with integrity, our customer focus, our quality, our innovation, our pride and passion in the business. Those values should be the expectations uh, that are held dear to all our employees. I define values as really the, the guiding star for an organization. So for us, our values are going to be manifest in the behaviors that we, we hold ourselves and each other accountable to. On the people experience, it's all about having an inclusive, diverse organization that really has common values embedded across the organization. We know how to work with each other and what's expected when we're working together. So mutual trust and respect. Uh, diversity, inclusion, uh, elimination of negatives, and really make sure we focus on a positive people experience. When the employees see that leaders at all levels are grounded in a core set of values, then the values become real to them. They, they uh, see that uh, my boss uh, exhibits integrity, my boss exhibits pride and, pride and passion, my boss is customer focused. You go down the list uh, and they see that from top to bottom, then they understand that, okay, this is key to us winning in the market, us winning against our competition. For customer focus really to work, people have to understand from leadership uh, what's important. And when you have important opportunities, you have to have excellent communication. So everyone in the organization is aligned to meet that commitment. I really like the, the phrase, know your customer, and deliver, starting with the know your customer. A strong commitment to innovation is critical and it's very important that we make sure that we bring our best capabilities of our people and of our resources and our tools together so that we're taking problems and solving them in a way that is more valuable to the customer and more cost effective for the company. Well, when I think about the value of quality, um, it, what I think about is not compromising, you know, always making sure every detail is accounted for and, um, you know, making that a part of our everyday decision making and culture. So it's not something we have to necessarily think about, it's just something that we do. When I think about what pride and passion means to me, it makes me think of uh, being an owner versus a renter. It's somebody that uh, cares so much about what they're doing for their customers, for each other, and they're gonna do whatever it takes. They've got the energy, the enthusiasm, the persistence to kind of be able to see it through. I believe ultimately it leads to uh, what we wanna do, that's win. If a leader is able to observe areas where they've got great alignment, celebrate it, recognize it, encourage it, we want to hear about it. We want to share those um, moments across this organization um, because uh, being a role model, seeing this happen in practice is where it really comes to life. What does it mean from uh, my standpoint as the CEO of the company? That our leaders walk the talk on values. They embrace the values. It's not just in what they say, but what they do their actions every single day, they need to be role models for our values. 